Hey everyone, welcome to another drawing tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you the technique of finding the midpoint of the subject that you are drawing and using that midpoint to make your sketch more accurate, to make your proportion more accurate. So this is the reference photo that I will be using. This guy here, by the way, he is Rob Sketcherman. He's a friend of mine from the Urban Sketches group. He's from Hong Kong. If you want to follow along with this tutorial, you can download the reference photos that I have provided in the video description below. So how is the midpoint useful? With the midpoint, you can use it together with the top and bottom boundary of your subject. You can use it together with the left and right boundary of your subject and use that to fit your drawing onto your page without running out of space or without you drawing your subject too small. So this is sort of like a proportion technique. All right, let's find the midpoint for Rob Sketchman. So when you're drawing on location, to find a midpoint, you can use your pen or pencil, stretch out your arm, lock your elbows, align the tip of your pen or pencil to where you think the midpoint is going to be. And I think the midpoint is maybe here. So I'm going to align this point here. Now with your thumb, you should go to the right boundary. So I think it's here. So if this is the midpoint, then this unit here should be half. So I'm going to move my pencil to the side here, and this will be half as well. But from what I can see, um, the left boundary is actually here at the tip of the shoe. So that means this is not the midpoint. I need to move it a bit to the right side, maybe here. So I'm going to measure again if this is the midpoint. Yep, so this is the midpoint. It's right up here, which is actually um, at the kneecap here. So now you know where the midpoint is from the left and right. So I'm going to find the midpoint for the top and bottom. Same thing, I'm going to guess where the midpoint is. I think it's maybe it's here at the watch there. So I'm going to place my index finger here at the bottom and then move it up. Yep, it's, it's around here at the watch. You don't have to be that precise, you just need to uh, know where it roughly is. But if you want to be more accurate, you uh, can be more precise. I'm just going to put it somewhere here. So the midpoint of this drawing, I mean of this uh, guy here, will be somewhere here, All right? It will be somewhere here. So we need to take note and remember where this point is before we start drawing. To make this sketch a bit easier for me and to help you better visualize uh, this uh, concept, I'm going to be using a pencil to mark out the midpoint here and I'm going to put the left boundary here and here, the top and bottom will be here. When I'm drawing on location, I do not draw these pencil lines, but I will still keep the midpoint uh, location in my mind. Sometimes I will place my index finger there to let me, uh, to remind me where that important point is. All right, so that is where the midpoint is. Now using the midpoint, I can measure other elements in the scene. So from what I can see, the head is somewhere here and the chin, the chin is about one third. Um, it's about one third, one third, two third, three third is about one third here. So I'm just going to draw the head here. I'm not going to be too precise about this drawing. I just want to uh, get the proportion right. So the shoulder will come out to the right. Now, the sleeve is going to end above the midpoint, maybe somewhere here. So once you have the midpoint, you can use it to measure all the other elements in the scene. You can use the midpoint to get all the other locations in the scene. So this is the knee area. This is the shots. And this line will curve down like this. This is where the tablet is. The bottom right edge of the tablet, it's to the left side of the hat here. So it goes up like this. This part here, this line here will be above the sleeve. 
and it will come down slightly and come here his hand will be here and this is the watch and this is the elbow all right then we can draw the shirt which part you draw is actually or where where you start from is actually not that important but generally speaking i like to start from the outer boundaries either the top or the extreme uh, sides so here we have the tablet and the shots and i'm going to draw the bottom of the shots here it's going to end here at the uh, midpoint of the tablet here and he is sitting on a chair that's like this before i draw the feet i want to do some measurement again so the midpoint is here so i'm going to place my thumb here and uh, point at the shoe here and i'm going to use this to measure this part here okay so from what i can see from what i can measure this part here this part is longer than this part here so that's something to remember and also when when i'm going to draw later i'll be using the edges of the shoe to help me align my drawing all right so his feet comes up slightly goes down like this and this is where the shoe is okay so this part here this point to this point this is longer compared to this point here the the shoe is actually somewhere around here now i can uh, draw the feet first so let's draw it slowly and this is where the shoe will start and this will go to the midpoint here the midpoint of the shoe here and this shoe tilts down slightly like this and goes up All right and then we have this part here that curves slightly before it turns to the other direction we have the shots again right now i can see that my drawing is a bit stretched is a bit wider compared to the photo now the thing with proportion drawing is if right at the start you get the proportion wrong it's going to affect your sketch later on for example if you draw the head too small then you're going to be drawing the shoulders too small the arms a bit shorter and the body will be a bit smaller at the end of the drawing everything will be smaller than usual if you draw the head too big then you'll be drawing the shoulders bigger the arms longer and when you reach the end of the drawing you may find that you have run out of space so if you want to be really accurate when you're drawing always be measuring like for example when you're drawing the head or when you're drawing the feet you can use the measurement of the head and compare it to the feet or use the basically use any part of the body that you have already drawn and measure it with other parts of the body okay so um, let's continue a little stretch is it really doesn't matter and the more you draw the more practice you get the better you will be at drawing from observation so now i'm going to draw the chair the black component is directly beneath the watch here and it's sort of aligns with the calf here so it's here and now that i have this i can use this to draw the metal beams the metal poles and this line here will be here it stops here at the shoe here and it stops here beneath this part here the other leg here for the portable stool it's here a bit lower compared to this point here so as i'm drawing i'm comparing with other elements in the scene so we will connect here all right let's take a look at the completed sketch i think i managed to get the height correct so the top of the hat the midpoint and the bottom of the shoe or the portable stool I think I managed to get this uh, proportion rather accurately just that this sketch is a bit stretched 
let's practice again this time we have someone standing she is suhita by the way she is also an urban sketcher by the way i will put the link to her website as well as rob sketchman's website in the video description below so you can check out more of their works right now i'm going to use my hand to measure um, the top and bottom and the midpoint is somewhere around here so this is just a very rough uh, measurement so if the midpoint is here this will be half this will be half and for this half i can sort of tell that the midpoint is around the shoulder sleeve here and from the shoulder sleeve to the top the midpoint is at the chin here so the top of the head to the chin is about one eighth of the whole drawing and my middle finger is here this is where the shoulder sleeve will be this is where the midpoint will be so the bottom of the chin will be here so i'm just doing a very quick sketch not worrying too much about the details i just want to get the proportion right so this is the neckline this is where the sleeve is it's not like this i'm using this the boundary of the head to get where the shoulders are so the left and right edge of the shoulders they should not extend too much out away from the left and right edge of the head all right so this is the the quarter mark of the sketch and this is the halfway point so the elbows will come down here the hand is here the knuckles right beneath the chin this and it comes down here so this is where arm is the fingers this is the sketchbook the pen another hand here and this arm here this is very foreshortened it's going to stop right here beneath the sketchbook it doesn't go all the way to the edge the boundary for this sketch is actually the sketchbook and it goes up like this and let's complete the hand all right this hand is a bit thin uh, because i drew it wrongly so let me just redraw it somehow i know it's a bit thin because when i compare it to the this part here it's a bit thin relatively speaking so let's draw t-shirt we have this is a lanyard thing that's going on and let's draw the ribbon as well okay so this will stop here right beneath the elbow here now the midpoint of this drawing is actually um, somewhere here at uh, between the bottom of the this uh, point here and this point here the midpoint is actually somewhere around here so if the midpoint is here that means the bottom of the feet is going to be around here all right so I'm going to place my index finger here to remind me so this um, this long trousers will go all the way to this point it doesn't go all the way down because um, it stops here and this line here this is almost vertical and we will come here there is this a little curve here before it goes straight down so the feet we can um, draw it all the way down this the shoe and the bottom edge of the shoe will go to the bottom boundary where my index finger is so for this feet here it will curve down here and this line will go almost diagonal about 45 degrees before it turns here and this part here it's above the, um, this point here all right so let's draw some shoelaces so this is the completed sketch i think i managed to get the proportion for this a bit more accurately compared to the earlier drawing so the midpoint is here so we have half half and we compare the midpoint to the, from the left and right it's i think it's somewhere around here as well but this time around the drawing it doesn't look too stretched i think i made a mistake here this line this line should come out from beneath the elbow 
like this. So when you have the midpoint, the top and bottom boundaries, the left and right boundaries, you should be able to fit your drawing onto the page without the drawing being too big or too small. Let me show you some sketches that I have drawn on the public train to elaborate more on this technique. So the bottom boundary doesn't always have to end at the feet. So for example, with this particular commuter on the train, I had the bottom boundary end at this point here. So the midpoint is here at the elbow and the top boundary is here. So when I know the top, the bottom and the midpoint, I can fit this guy onto uh, this area here. So that's all for this video. If you want to learn more about drawing, you can check out my other tutorials from my YouTube playlist, or you can support me on my Patreon page to have access to even more detailed tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.